Hi there, welcome to uh, one of our series of short videos covering financial market economics. In this short session, we're going to focus on the key functions of commercial banks, with a particular focus on the banking system in the UK. So this picture is from 2014 and shows the market share of current accounts, savings accounts in the UK. And you can see that the commercial bank sector in Britain is best described as an oligopoly. Indeed, if you were to, if you were to uh, count up the account market share of the leading five banks in the UK, Lloyds, Barclays, RBS, HSBC and Santander, you get a figure that's well in excess of the 60% needed uh, to create an oligopoly. Uh, crucially, the Competition and Markets Authority found in August 2016 that very few people actually change their accounts. At the moment, less than 3% of personal and 4% of business customers switch to a different savings account in any one year. There's very strong brand loyalty. Lloyds Bank and Barclays and the Royal Bank of Scotland on this account are far and away the three biggest banks in the UK. So what are commercial banks? Well, commercial banks are profit-seeking, often privately owned but not exclusively owned banks that provide a range of retail banking services to both households and business customers. The really key points are as follows. Firstly, commercial banks uh, are licensed deposit takers. In other words, they provide a range of savings accounts but they need a license from the Bank of England and typically they take that they make their money by taking small, short-term, relatively liquid savings deposits from people and uh, turning them into loans. So banks are licensed deposit takers and they're also licensed to lend money and thereby, thereby create money through bank loans, bank overdrafts and uh, things like housing mortgages. Commercial banks can also make extra profits by providing a, a range of other services. So, for example, uh, providing debit and credit cards, providing private banking services, deposit and other forms of money custody services, foreign exchange dealing, cash management, settle settlement services for businesses, uh, processing of credit cards and debit card settlements, etc. And for many businesses as well, trade finance is a key uh, service provided by commercial banks. The commercial bank's core business model requires them to receive a higher interest rate on the loans they make uh, than the interest rate they pay out on savings deposits. So this is called the interest rate spread. It's the difference between the interest rate on a bank loan minus the interest rate on the savings deposit. And typically this interest rate spread provides the profit which helps to pay for some of the fixed operating expenses of a commercial bank and also generate some money for shareholders. Uh, we've looked at the leading banks in the UK by market share of current accounts. Those are the ways we can look at the data. Again, this is for 2014, but it tells us the, the total assets of the bank. Um, Barclays is by some distance by this measure the biggest bank in the UK. Uh, if we look at the number of branches, the Royal Bank of Scotland uh, is the highest number of branches with just over 2,000, although that figure will have fallen, I suspect, by now. Notice at the bottom of this chart the emergence of Metro Bank and Virgin Money as, if you like, challenger banks in the system. Uh, Virgin Money bought uh, Northern Rock a few years ago. Uh, just to put things in context, UK commercial banks appear to be quite big. And they often do make hundreds of millions of pounds before, before provision for bad debts and things. But in the wider context, only HSBC uh, is in the top global banks in the world as of 2016, if we measure that by market capitalization. So market cap is the number of shares issued multiplied by the current market price of those shares. And on this measure, in April 2016, HSBC just crept into the top 10 banks in the world. But notice how many of these banks are American and Chinese. The, the balance of power in the financial world is shifting uh, very significantly and probably away from the UK banking sector. 
So there's a brief introduction to the question, what are commercial banks?